G'day punters. I thought I'd just do a session by session videos on the separate systems within the Land Cruiser that I've played with over the years. And I thought I'd start off with the air system because it's fairly isolated. It's not something that's original. And it starts of course with a um, switch. They are the air compressor switch <coughs> inside the dash or inside the cab. That's wired to a um, positive feed inside the bonnet, which is fused. It goes to a relay, and the output of the relay goes to the air compressor. Part of the air system, I've also got airbags. I have the remote sensors here. Now, they're not on at the moment because I don't have the ignition on, but they all pick up a Wi-Fi feed from sensors in the left and right side of the airbag system. We'll get there shortly. I'll take you to the um, engine bay to show you where I've fused the air compressor and where the relay is. Right in the uh, engine bay now. Air compressor switch is, oh, fuse is just up the back there. I pick it up off my auxiliary battery use the auxiliary battery for um, a lot of stuff it is a lead crystal battery and I'll talk about them in another video I suppose my relay is over this side for the air compressor and the wiring room amongst all these looms also runs down to the back uh, and a recent feed on the air horns I told you about where I ran my positive for my air horns, it was down an existing loom, and that was the um, water pump loom, and it takes the same route as the air compressor one. Those looms run down the inside of the right chassis um, towards the top, if not on top of the chassis. So it runs down comes into my toolbox, I'll call this my air box I suppose. The ARB compressor, I just mounted that up the side, four bolts, sealed it up with a bunch of elastic. I've got a wiring loom running in up the back there, and you can see it runs in up there. Now the airbag sensors, right, left, <coughs> and then it's some um, little batteries in it and they're just Wi-Fi operated. So this air compressor runs the airbag system, I should say, it airs the airbag system. It also um, pumps up the ARB air tank. I've done a separate video on that so you can have a look. I have an outlet for an air hose there, it's an original ARB one, plugs in there and I've got a Higher pressure gauge. I've also got an air gun as well if I need that and some other assorted air fittings that I keep in there and a tyre puncture repair kit in there. I've got four bulkhead fittings coming into this toolbox. Two are for the airbags. Uh, they run from the compressor out to um, run the airbags. The airbag system is isolated with this stop valve so that if there's an air leak from uh, the outlet side of, or sorry, the inlet side of that valve through the tank and anywhere else, the airbags are still gonna be fine. The other bulkhead fittings, one at the back there, that goes to my air horns, one up the back here, which is another ARB outlet for my air hose. If you want to know what that is, that's a water outlet. I'll talk about that separately. So there's no fuses or anything else in here. It's just a bunch of electric wires for the compressor. I've tapped off power from the compressor to run the ARB, oh sorry, the airbag man gauge. It will only turn on when the compressor circuit is turned on. 
and the compressor circuit's turned on by that switch up in the dash. The other part of the airbag system, or well, the air system is the air horn sand. Again, I've done another separate video on that. And I've mentioned there is a slow leak through a diaphragm on one of those air horns, and it looks like I will have to replace the solenoid, air solenoid in the horns, just to stop that air leak. Well, that, in a nutshell, really is the air system in my cruiser. Um, gives me noise, the air horns. I've got two out, air outlets, one inside the box, one external to the box, which I've pointed out the back there. And I've got an air tank, and it also airs up my airbags.